Welcome back. And in your top business story, the Real Estate Appraisal Center, the Government of Dubai Land Department, evaluated 1,090 properties at the request of property owners, with total value of 42 billion dirhams in the first half of the year. Mohammed al Dah, head of the center, stated today that appraisal transactions dropped in the first half of the year by 3%, while net value of assessed properties dipped by 26% year, 26% year on year. This, he said, indicated the market maturity price stability and investor confidence in Dubai's real estate market. 30% of assessment applications were taken from Dubai municipality, 18% from Dubai courts, 17% for the purpose of sale, 10% for banks, 6% each for grant, exit and investors visa, and 1% for auction. For the type of evaluation, the vacant plots represented 62% of the applications and completed buildings at 38%. The Dubai Export Development Corporation and a visiting delegation from Nigeria's Federal Development Authority held a discussion on Wednesday to streamline the exchange of information and experiences between the two sides. The discussions focused on ways to benefit from the experience of Dubai as a model in the field of modern infrastructure capable of sustaining a diverse business environment. The officials also discussed the need to develop a mechanism to set up alliances and strategic partnerships between Emirati and Nigerian companies. The discussions also dealt with the removal of impediments before bilateral exports and imports between the UAE and Nigeria. The Dubai Investment Park is opening its doors to foreign investors as it prepares to start selling plots. The park is a self-contained mixed-use industrial, commercial and residential complex operated by Dubai Investments Park Development Company. The 500,000 square meters of the park has two plots dedicated to two warehouses, which will soon become the first area of industrial land to be available to foreign investors outside of the free zones in the UAE. Local estate agents are estimating costs of between 300 and 600 dirhams per square meter. The park's general manager, Omar Mesma, was quoted as saying that there are three options. Either you buy the facility and the land, you buy the facility itself and pay the rent for the land, or you pay the rent for the facility. He stated that at present, 75,000 people are living in the area with 15,000 visitors every day who are going to and from school and work. Well, let's now take a look at the stock indices across the GCC.